uh, Ellen Stelloff uh, is a great person, and she called me up one day and said, I have a script you should read, and it's Desire in Hell at Sunset Motel, and it's written by the late Alien Castle. Um, and he always goes by the name Alien. His real name's Alan. Even as his bio, uh, he, he writes, uh, I, I, I strongly uh, refute any rumors that I'm from the planet K-Bar. <laughs> He'll never say he's from Rochester, New York. Great guy, rest his soul. And he'd written a wonderful piece, and, and it was packaged and ready to go, and the financing fell out. And so at the time I received it, it had Esai Morales, Craig Sheffer, and a few other people. So I'm thinking, uh, what do I mostly look for in a script is the validation that it can be cast. So if I have a script that's already cast, even if the cast is going to fall out, I know that it would never have had a package in the first place. That is a validation that the script is worthy of casting if it's been cast. So I'm very intrigued in this project because uh, it had been cast. So I called up the producers who had put the cast together and I said, I've just had the writer of your project in the office and he's told me forthrightly that your options expired, but that you've assembled a, f a fabulous cast. I said, I'm going to make him an offer and I'm going to buy his script and I'm going to make his movie. But since you've done a lot of work, I don't want to be one of those kind of guys that steals things. Um, so I'm on the phone with Mr. Stephen Bratter, uh, who went on to do uh, Demolition Man with uh, um, Joel Silver. And I said, Stephen, uh, let's just join forces and let's do it. He said, no, we don't need you. We've got our cast. We're going to do without you. I said, but you're hearing me on the phone right now telling you that Alan Castle's in my office. I'm looking at him. He's sitting across the desk from me. I'm going to make a deal with him before he leaves the room. Why don't we just go 50-50 on it, co-produce it. You've already got a cast. I've got distributors that are asking me for product. I know they'll take this product, even before I pick up the phone to tell them what it is. Why not just share? Everybody wins. Win-win. We don't need you. You're crazy. Alan's loyal to us. He's, I said, for whatever loyalty Alan has, consider it being demonstrated in me reaching out to you right now. He's, he doesn't understand why I'm going to go make his film, and you're going to keep talking about it. Well, you'll never hold our actors. It's not an issue. You can keep your cast. I'll just get a different cast. Well, it'll never get made. He passes. He's had every chance in the world he passes. Um, I have the thing in pre-production about a week later. He calls me up. He says, we really should meet. And Steve Bratter has become one of my best, close, and dearest friends in life. We went on to make the movie Motorama together, which uh, he brought me. And he said, you know how to get these things made. 